Hey guys and welcome to Race City Marine. Today you join me out here on Lake Norman in one of our 2020 Super Aeronautique 230s. If you have any questions on this boat or would like to schedule a test drive and take it out on the water for yourself, you can check out all of our contact information down in the description below. So this boat is a 23 footer, finished off in onyx black and mystic white accents. The interior upholstery is finished off in the same color scheme and we even have gray sea decking all around. The Nautique 230 has a dry weight at 4,600 pounds. We have 15 people max capacity and we have a ballast of 2,100 pounds. Starting underneath the swim platform, this has Nautique's surf system. There's two tabs on each side that protrude outward just a few inches to really help shape that wake. We also have the hydrograde in the center to help the boat plane easier and to continue shaping that wave. We have a beautiful swim platform with more sea decking. And the Nautiques also come standard with the surf pipe exhaust. All the exhaust fumes bubble up out behind your rider, giving the boat a quieter ride and your rider doesn't have to breathe in any harmful gas when they're back here. So it makes it a lot safer to operate the boat. We have a nice swim platform with sea decking on it and three steps to make it easy to get in and out of the boat. We have the transom remote for your audio system. And like I said, very easy getting in and out with all the sea decking. And right in the center here, this is a removable cushion. You can just pop this up and it makes another step here. So if you have the extra rider, you can have the seat there. But if you'd like an easier way to get in and out of the boat, you have that option as well. Taking a look at the back of the boat, you'll notice each of these cushions is on a hinge. We have a nice removable area right here to put a lot of storage in. Underneath this has the ballast bags. The engine is located in the center. We can go ahead and lift this up on a hinge with gas struts so everything stays nice and up. This is the PCM ZR4 cranking out 400 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque. Plenty of power to get this boat up and out of the water on plane, even with a full ballast system. Now inside the 230, you can see just how much comfortable seating we have in this boat. On each side of me, we have hinged seats. These just lift right up. And you can see just how much storage space we have in here. Very easy to fit many different items in here. We have the same space on the other side. And now one of my favorite features with the 230, you're gonna notice two mirror image seat backs right here. Both of these are removable. So if I take this one out, we now have a huge lounge chair for either facing forward or facing back, which is really awesome to have. If I put this in this position, we have a rearward facing seat. And then if I flip it around, you now have a forward facing seat. A lot of people really like this option. You can just sit here and get to enjoy the view ahead. And then on the other side, same thing goes. You have a nice backrest that is removable if you don't want it. And then in front of this seat back, you have another hinge seat. Comes up very easily for easy access to more dry storage. And then this passenger seat, you can easily lift up. It's on a gas strut as well. More storage space. We have the Nautique cooler and the built-in trash can, which is very easy to access through this window right on this side. And then above all this, we have the glove box that opens up. We have sea decking here to keep your items in place, as well as the head unit for the JL audio system. We also have some auxiliary ports on the left side. Moving to the helm now of the 230, the driver's seat here is a swiveling seat. Race inspired, you can see these really nice bolsters. It also has a front cushion that'll come up so you can get that extra height if needed. But with it down, one of my favorite features with this seat is this integrated leg cutout. It's very easy to sit in the seat, super comfortable. And if you are facing forward, you can have your leg in this cutout, easily see what's going on behind the boat and turn your head and see what's going on ahead of you. So I really like how Nautique's designed the seat. Turning around now to the command center, we have a really nice ergonomic armrest for your arm with a really good comfortable spot for the throttle as well as all the controls here. We turn the electronics on with your switch panel down here. We can go into the screen and see everything on this touchscreen display system. We have a lot of parameters on the left and right. We can also control it using the toggle switch over on this right side with your Bluetooth audio, all of your ballast controls, courtesy lighting. You can have different presets for how you'd like the wake to be set up. We also have a navigation map as well as different settings. Over on the right side, all of your engine parameters will come up. And now moving to the bow of the boat, this has a really comfortable seat set up up here. As you can see, I can easily sit here on a really comfortable seat. We have your speakers on each side with four coupler and grab handles. So a really nice place to be. All of these seat cushions are removable and you have more dry storage space up under here. So really usable for how the bow is set up. Moving on to Nautique's tower, we have two JL audio speakers up above with ambient lighting on them as well, which is a nice touch. We have the Nautique's awareness camera located right here to have a really good view of what's going on behind the boat. Then moving to these board racks, they do swivel. You just pull this pin, you can easily swivel it in and place your boards in these racks. Everything is coated with a really thick rubber coating to make it to where your board's not gonna damage. And these bungee cords do a really good job keeping everything secure and then they lock back into place. And then moving to this bimini top, you can see how large it is. Does a really good job shading the interior of the boat. You also do have surf pockets on each side. So that extra surfboard, you have plenty of space in this boat. And then if we go ahead and fold this up, you just pull the pin on each side and pop this arm down. It'll Velcro into its spot up above. 
And with both sides done, you just fold each winglet in place. And then just disconnect each of these two knobs on the top here. And then you'll just slide the Nautic boot cover over the whole bimini top, stopping a little bit for this hinge. And now we can easily just push the bimini up and we'll go ahead and fold the tower. To continue folding down the tower, there's these aluminum pieces right here. Just pull them out and lock them in that position. And then you can just push the tower down. So there's a look at our 2020 Super Aeronaut T230. If you guys have any questions on this boat or would like to schedule a test drive to take this out on the water for yourself, contact us using the information down in the description below. We look forward to seeing you all out on the water.